Hey everybody, today is Friday, October 7th, 2022 in sunny San Diego, California, and I'm Captain Perry here with you. If you're new to the channel, behind me here is a scow bow mini cruiser that I'm building. Basically, my mission here is to build a strong, trailerable, 14-foot sailboat that's watertight and custom-built to cross oceans. What I'm going to be working on over the next week or so is installing the mast bearing and the mast tube. Now, basically sitting up in the bow right now. So, my friend and Patreon member built this custom mast bearing, and that's going to go right back here. And uh, first, I'll build up the mast step a little. And then I thought about this for a long time how to make the mast tube, whether to just use a PVC pipe, some kind of aluminum tube. Um, but what I've decided is to make my own tube out of fiberglass using a uh, cardboard tube as a mold. This came with some, uh, I think it had six ounce fiberglass wrapped around it. And it's kind of the perfect size to be a mast tube for my mast. So what I'm going to do is wrap this in some plastic sheet and then wrap fiberglass around it. Let's give that a try. I think it'll work. My mast tube is going to extend above the deck about five inches. And I plan to make a really good connection between the mast and the mast tube so as to not allow any water from waves or rainfall coming down the mast. And you can think of it as the mast kind of having a little umbrella where it meets this tube and it'll just come over. And then the mast tube itself will have a little wave diverter lip so that if water sloshes on the deck and rides up the mast tube all that five inches, it'll hit that lip curve over and come back down. But how do we deal with what little water does get inside the tube? Well, one thing that some designs do, like say the Paradox sailboats, they put a drain straight through the inside of the tube, through the hull, down to the ocean. So any water that comes in goes in the tube, collects in the bottom, and down to the ocean. I don't really like that because that hole can get clogged with marine growth. If the bottom of your mast tube should break in some kind of freak accident, well now you've got a hole directly to the ocean where water is going to pour in at an alarming rate. My preference is to put a small hole at the back of the tube inside this compartment. Any little bit of water that does happen to get in there, it's going to drain into this compartment and I'm comfortable with that. I can just take a sponge and clean it up. It's just my preference not to have any holes in the boat under the water line, such as through hulls or drains. This boat doesn't have a single one and I'd really like to keep it that way. All right, well, time to get to work. Let's do it.
now it's time to unwrap this mass tube. If I can't get the mold out easily, well, it's just gonna get interesting. As you saw, it's made up of a layer of 1708 and a layer of six ounce cloth over the whole thing with an extra 12 inch long 1708 layer right here where it's gonna pass through the deck and have the top of the mass tube because that's really where it's gonna have the most stress is where it meets the deck. Uh, the pressure of the sail pushing on the mast will push right there and there'll be a bearing there, a little collar. And then at the bottom, I don't think the mast is really gonna put pressure on the tube, it's more on the mast step. And that pressure is gonna hit on that super strong stainless pin that I have bolted to the uh, bottom of the hull. I managed to move it that first six inches and then I couldn't get the cardboard tube any further. I think the plastic that I loosely wrapped around the tube prior to fiberglassing it maybe rolled up and made the tube season there. So I'll have to try some other methods to get it out. But for now, that'll be the end of this video. I got too many clips to edit already. If you have any good ideas about how to get that tube out, just leave them in the comments below. A big thank you to my Patreon members. Patreon members get access to a full build photo gallery and get to watch episodes 24 hours in advance. Another great way to support the project is through the Amazon wishlist. If you want to see some piece of hardware on the deck and know that you contributed it to the project, just head there through the link in the description. If nothing else, please hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. That's free. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Four dollars to make all preparations for getting on the way. Yeah. Oh. I'll get back to your station, or I'll have you cut through here. Well, shoot something.